And one summer afternoon, I heard a knock on my front door, and it was George Thies, a school pal of mine, who was dating my sister. And I figured he was coming to see her, but uh, instead she had told him that I played the guitar, which I had for about six months. And <laughs> he said uh, he wanted me to come over and audition for his band. So that weekend I followed him to a part of town where the rug mill, where the rug mill was, and in a little shotgun shack. They cleared out a tiny little dining room and there was some band equipment set up. And it was there in that little room, no bigger than this little spot I'm standing on, that I embarked on the greatest adventure of my life. I joined my first real rock and roll band. And we lasted we lasted for three years, which is an incredibly long time for teenagers to stay in one place. 1965, 1966, 1967, we played all up and down the Jersey Shore. We played in Greenwich Village. It was, a, it was an explosive time in American history. It was an incredible period of time to be in a rock and roll band. And uh, we named ourselves uh, after a uh, bottle of shampoo. Uh, Propecia, no, no, that's what I use now. Uh, <laughs> we called ourselves the Castiles, the Castiles. Uh, well, if you, if you cut forward, 50 years, and another summer day, I found myself standing at the side of George's deathbed. He fought lung cancer for the last four years of his life. He only had a few days to live. And his passing would leave me as the last living member of that first bunch of guys. And, uh, It was like standing on the tracks with, a, with the white hot light of an oncoming train bearing down on you brings a certain clarity of thought and purpose that you may not have previously paid attention to. But I went home and about a week later George passed away and shortly after that I wrote this song and it's just about, it's about a a job I chose before I even ever would have called it work. It was about the passion, a passion that you follow as, as a child, not knowing where it's going to be. And how at 15, everything is tomorrow, tomorrow, and hello, and hello. And uh, later on, there's a, a lot more goodbyes. But it makes you realize how important living every moment of your life is as best as you. So be good to your loved ones and be good to yourself and be good to this world we live in. This is Last Man Standing. scrapbook faded pictures that somebody took when you were hard and young and proud backed against the wall running raw and wild snakeskin vest a shark skin suit Cuban heels on your boots Kicking the band and side by side We take the crowd on the mystery ride Knights of Columbus and the Fireman's Ball Friday night at the Union Hall Black leather clubs 
all alone at night. You count the names of the missing as you count on the time. Rock of ages lift me somehow. Somewhere high and hard and loud. Somewhere deep into the heart of the crowd. I'm the last man standing. Rock of ages lift me somehow 